Today we are going to start a new topic, probability. It's a very interesting topic because it's related to our daily life. In this topic, you will learn about probability and the different terms which are used to describe probability. Let's start with probability. What is probability? Probability is a measure that we use to tell how likely an event or outcome is. We use probability any time we want to know how likely something is to happen. For example, to determine how likely it is one player or team will win the game or to determine how likely it is someone will win the lottery or if we want to determine how likely it is to rain or snow. How do we write probabilities? It's a very important question. We often write probabilities as fractions. The numerator is the number of ways the event can occur. The denominator is the number of possible events that could occur. Probability can also be expressed as a percentage. Let's look at an example. What is the probability the number cube will land on an even number? Remember, a number cube has six sides. Well, now students, ask yourself the following questions. How many even numbers are shown on the number cube? Well, three numbers, two, four and six. How many possible number could the number cube land on? There are six possible outcomes. So the probability would be three by six. And in percentage, it would be 50%. Excellent. Now take another example. What is the probability that I will get a blue gum ball? Again, how many blue gum balls are in the machine? Count these gum balls. Three. How many gum balls are in the machine altogether? There are seven red and three blue gum balls. Altogether, ten. So the probability would be 3 by 10 and in percentage 30%. Excellent. Now take an example of spinner. What is the probability the spinner will land on a girl's name? How many girls name are on the spinner? 3. Now how many possible names could the spinner land on? Count the total number. 8 and in percentage it would be well 37.5 or 38 percent excellent dear students now we will learn the different terms which are used to describe probability we can describe the probability of an event with the following terms certain likely unlikely and impossible to get the more understanding of these terms, we will look at the likelihood scale. Do you know what is likelihood scale? Yes, look at the likelihood scale. It is just like a probability line. What is probability line? Let's see what all it tells us. It ranges between 0 and 1. What does it mean? It means that probability of event occurring is always between 0 and 1. Now you can see that different terms are written on probability number line. Impossible, unlikely, even chance, likely and certain. Now it's your turn to think about different events that can come on this likelihood scale. My dear students, look at this probability line. You can see that we can use the different ways to express different events. It can be written in a fraction form or in a decimal form or in a percentage form. 1 by 4 
that is unlikely event in a decimal form it will be written as 0.25 or 25 percent half the equally likely event would be written as 0.5 or 50 percent likely event in a fraction form would be written as 3 by 4 in a decimal form it would be written as 0 0.75 or 75 percent and a certain event the event which has has 100 percent chance to occur dear students the, these are the common terms which are related to probability sample space event and sample points let's take an example to get the understanding of these terms let's roll a die once can you tell me that what is the possible number of outcomes which you can get by rolling a die yes there are six possible outcomes and these are the sample space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and you can see that we can write it in the form of set. Now tell me what is the probability you will roll an even number. How many even numbers are there? 3 and possible number of outcomes? 6. So the probability will be written as in the form of fraction it would be the number of ways the even number can occur divided by total number of possible outcomes. So it would be 3 by 6 or 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 or 50 percent. Dear students, now for practice you will choose D2 exercise 15. In case of any query you can ask your teachers in the Google Classroom. Thank you students.